Well, everybody, time flies when you're having fun. The month of September is just about over. And before that happens, I need to do my silkworm feeding video. Welcome back, everybody. We're doing a silkworm feeding video on my channel. If you're wondering why it is I do this, and I'm so sorry for those of you that watch all of these and have to hear it every time, but there are a lot of newbies here. Silkworms are one of the best, most nutritious feeder insects available in the herpetoculture market. I'm gonna tell you exactly why. By weight, silkworms contain one of the highest levels of protein found in any commercial feeder insect. Not only this, they contain a whole array of very beneficial vitamins and minerals, such as calcium, vitamin B groups, iron, magnesium, and an interesting enzyme called serapeptase, which is known to reduce inflammation, encourage circulation in the body, and more. What's interesting is that humans actually create a synthetic form of this enzyme to take as a supplement in their body. So silkworms, just kidding. Silkworms are actually benefiting humanity. How cool is that? And lastly, for those of you that are new to the channel, hi, my name is Dion. I make videos about specialty pets, such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of invertebrates, like these silkworms that about to get eaten by all my reptiles and amphibians. If that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I do my best to post one to two videos a week. It's gonna be one for the next little while because I'm working away on a giant tree monitor enclosure. Yeah, stay tuned for that. It is gonna be so awesome. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy the content. Let's get into it. Hey buddy. The first animal we are going to feed in today's silkworm feeding video is the crocodile skinks. I think we got Sappy back there. I'm sort of doubtful that Sunny is going to actually come, but Sappy. Sappy probably will. Oh, yeah. Sappy, come on. Hey, that's my finger. <laughs> uh, I love this lizard so much. She's all the way over there now eating. Somewhere back there. Oh, let's see if Sunny's around. Okay, well, I'll just leave it there for you to grab it. Be quiet, Sunny. Come on, buddy. There you go. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Funny animals. Okay. All right, so here are my Anolis sequestris portior. This is my male over here, and this is my female. I don't know what happened with this girl. It's like a switch flicked in her mind, and suddenly she's a lot more shy. I'm gonna be patient and just try to keep working on this with her, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. Sometimes it goes back and forth, but she used to be a lot less shy than my male, and now I have a hard time even tong feeding her. In any case, I don't want to force too much, but I don't want to lose the progress we've made either. My lady, why? I'll go back to her. I'm gonna just check out the male here. So it's funny enough, he's looking kind of dark right now, but watch what happens when we give him something to eat. He'll be shocked how pleasant his color will become. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at this guy go. Ay, ay, ay. Take it east, man. Holy. Look at all the blue on him. Wow. That's one beautiful lizard. He's growing up way too fast. Okay, let's try the female again. There we go. Again, it's just like they get in these weird moods and then they don't want to be seen. They don't want to, I don't know what it is. In any case, we'll let her do her thing there with this silkworm and we'll carry on. Oh, kind of missed that. That was fast. All right, let's move on. Here is avocado. 
another Ceratophrys cornuta, however you pronounce it. Let's see here if avocado is going to give us a little bit of a show. Let's see this ambushing in action. Oh, holy moly. Okay, awesome. Well done, avocado. All right, everybody. Now it is time to feed the Shinosaurus crocodilirus, Chinese crocodile lizards. I'm going to push this to the water just so it's a little bit more quiet in here. This is still making lots of splashing, but it helps oxygenate the water, so. I'm really not sure who will actually come out and eat, but we'll try with Rexy here. Are you willing to make an appearance or not? There we go. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Not sure if my male is anywhere to be found. We can try and see if he'll come out for a silkworm. Anybody here back here? Yep, here he comes. Oh, that's the other female. There we go. Well, I accidentally uh, missed filming it, but she just grabbed one. So, sneaky Shinisaurus grabbed her silkworm off camera. Let's try and give her another one, though. There we go, there's my male. Kinda just came out of nowhere. It's so funny to me how an animal that was so shy and reluctant to eat, that I had to take to the vet to see Dr. Brown, etc., is now the most bold Shinisaurus I own. Into the abyss we go. These lizards are so cool. All right. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all what it is that you like to use for gut loading your feeder insects. As you may or may not know, it is incredibly crucial. That's a really intense way to put it. It is, it really is incredibly crucial that you feed your prey items a nutritious diet before offering them over to your pets. Most of the time when you purchase crickets or superworms, mealworms, you name it, at a pet store, they haven't been offered a nutritious diet yet. Most of the cricket farms send them off to their destinations with potatoes, a cheap way to offer them moisture and food. All that is is starch. You need to give your animals a nutritious diet by gut loading their prey. So I'd like to know from you what it is that you usually offer your insects as a commercial gut load. I have a bunch of different things I use, dark leafy greens, different types of squash, you name it. I also sometimes use commercial cricket diets. For example, this Fluker's high calcium cricket diet which I'll actually place a link for in my video description. But I'd like to know from you guys what you're doing, and hopefully the Reptiliatus community can get some helpful ideas. Thanks so much. As always, I'll give your comment a heart, and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Okay, everybody. So, we are deep in building the tree monitor enclosure. Very exciting stuff. Finally, it's getting done. Like, finally, it's actually getting done. But we're going to do something a little bit different here with Mr. Basil. I'm going to take a silkworm and see if he can find it. So it's actually in that one right there. Oh, that didn't take long. Basil, are you looking for uh, your snacks? Any luck? Is there a silkworm in there? Huh? Did you find something you want to eat? There's literally a silkworm right there.
All right, let's give him a little bit of a hand to start so that maybe he learns about the clamshells, you know? Okay, will that work? <laughs> there you go, buddy. Eat that. Nom nom nom. Oh, wow, okay. There we go. Move the thing out of the way. You got it. You got it. Nice. Good job. Oof. Juicy. Juicy, juicy. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Cool. That was kind of a fun way to incorporate something different. Let's move on. All right, everyone. So here is... Autumn, one of my female Geomida spengleri, black-breasted leaf turtles. She's one of three animals I own that actually enjoy eating silkworms. It's so random. Hi, Autumn. Hello. There you go. Up, up, up. There you go. Now she's gonna go run away with it, probably. Poor thing. All right, Autumn, enjoy. So although Geomida spangleri definitely like shade, they do take advantage of UVB. So you can actually see ET here. It's under some pothos leaves, but part of his body Sorry for all the dirt, but it's under the UVB light, see? So he's actually taking advantage of that light and he's above the ground, <laughs> he climbed up onto the vine and he's just hanging like that, he's just laying there. We got Yoda over here, but she was just eating some. <laughs> she has like white crumbs all over her face because she's just been chewing on a cuttlefish bone. Uh, there's gonna be an exciting leaf turtle update happening next week, most likely. Um, but this is funny to see <laughs> how she looks like that. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, we can try and give her silkworm, but you guys already know how this goes. She's just, she checks it out and blinks a few times and loses interest. See, she does this like weird blinky thing and is like, nope, I don't like that. Yeah, she doesn't like it. Okay, let's give this the little foot. There you go. Come on, dude. There you go. That's for you. You got it. Now he's gonna do his terribly slow eating. Poor thing. Oh, there's some good nutrition there. All that mulberry. But that is pretty messy. All right, time to feed ET. Look what I got for you. You gonna come over and say hi to us? Hey. I think he'll come once he realizes he's trying to, he's trying to turn around. ET. Come on, buddy. There he is. Look at him just freaking out. Yep, there's a little man. There you go. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, no. That is disgusting. Please don't bring that into your water dish. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my goodness. That would be the worst thing ever. I just cleaned his water. It's already so messy as is, but if he brought all that mulberry into it, that would be even worse. Please keep that over the edge of the water dish. Nope. Don't take it in. Sorry, that's a... Uh... Pretty dirty view, but I guess you can kind of see too. Okay. So 
So there's a few leaf turtles being fed silkworms. <laughs> Good little foot, just like chilling with his legs stretched. He's like, that was a good meal. All right, everybody. Next is Sabzi. Hello, madame. You got like a bunch of stuff in your mouth. Let's try the puzzle with her. I wonder how she'll do compared to Basil. Okay, so I just put a silkworm in this one. And here she is checking things out. Oh. Pretty much revealed it. Right on, Sabzi. Good job, girl. Boy, oh boy, I love these stream monitor lizards. I just wish you were less messy when you came to eating. Oh my gosh. Please, no. Just, just relax. I, I, I didn't put on a hazmat suit, did I? Come on, girl. Just, just. Eat it, don't shake it. Ay, ay, ay. Wow, okay. That took a little while, so we'll give you some more silkworms later, but for the video's sake, let's move on. Friends, I'd like to take a quick break to sincerely thank my patrons over on the Patreon platform. Thank you so much everybody for support there. A lot of you often ask me how it is that you can support this channel a little more than just viewing and commenting, which by the way will always be the most important thing and I really appreciate you all for doing that. If you are interested in supporting further, there's Patreon. For as little as $2 a month, you can become a Patreon supporter. You get exclusive perks, such as sneak peeks on upcoming projects, discounts on merch, and more. I'm also gonna be doing some exclusive content for you guys there, like little Q and A's where you can drop your questions and get an answer from me, and you have a direct line of communication with me. There's a whole skew of other perks you can check out depending on the tier of contributions you offer. And on top of this, Every video, we do a shout out for the new Patreon members. So for today, we're thanking Monkey Art. Thank you so much for becoming my newest patron on Reptiliatus's Patreon page. And I look forward to chatting with you more there. Thank you so much for your consideration, everybody. Let's get back to the video. Everybody, it's nighttime in the reptile room. Got my headlamp on like a silly guy I am. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start feeding some of these silkworms, the various nocturnal reptiles in the room. You can see that some of the toke geckos are out there. The lychees are out too. So let's start there. Okay, so here's Jabba. To be honest, I'm not particularly convinced that this guy's gonna eat. Oh wow, okay. Right on, buddy. <laughs> you can see he has some scabs healing on his head. A little bit of breeding behavior, it looks like. Now, Leela is just over here. I'm gonna offer her a bigger one. Leela, she's looking at the reflection on the glass. Over here. Oh my goodness. Leela, you're hilarious. Yeah. Silly goose. Good girl. Happy lychee. She loves her silkworms. Okay, next we got Pingu, my female lily white crested gecko. Would you like a silkworm, Pingu? Why are you looking at the shadow again? Oh, there we go. Seems like she's pretty content with that. Awesome. I guess we can move on. And lastly, for the crusties, we have Nona Firestripe. What? What was that? There you go. Silly goose. Silly goose. Awesome. Okay, so next I wanted to try feeding a few of the juvenile toke geckos. Hi, this is one of the youngest babies. Hello, would you like a silkworm? I'm sure you would. Oh yeah, there you go, little one. A 
a big meal for you. Uh-oh, I knew something was gonna happen. That is not nice. You stole your sibling's meal. Okay, little buddy, we're gonna try this again. Here, quick, go, 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 go. Get away. You there, leave your sibling alone. Back, I tell you, back, beast. You gotta do it quick, your siblings are gonna get it. Tiki, not a chance. You can eat tomorrow during the day. We're always gonna film Tiki and Torch, who's over here. We'll get them eating their silkworms during the daytime. You missed. There you go. Bravo. Okay, so next is my Cruzio Hylocraspidopus fringe leaf frog. There we go. Look at those little hands in action. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that face. Okay, so my experience with the Stenodactylus, Stenodactylus is that they have no interest in silkworms. I've tried small ones before, nada. However, I really do want to see if the Stenodactylus petrii will show any interest. Because they'll even take superworms. They're doing really well. I'm very happy with the receptivity and interest people have had in, in the Project Sand Gecko series. I'll be doing a second video soon. I just want to see here these little guys might show any interest in the silkworms. It's so peculiar. Cause I'm sure that if I put a mealworm there, he'd be all over it. How weird is that? I guess these guys just don't like the silks. Let's try a few more. We got plenty of individuals to see. If not, it is what it is, but we'll try. Okay, so that was one attempt. Let's try. This one, and then we'll call it. There should be two geckos in this enclosure, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there they are. Two lovely females. Much larger. I'm going to see if any of them, or either of them, will go for this silkworm. If not, we'll leave it. But I'm hoping one of them will. And they're much bigger. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Look at that. It's tasty, I promise. Oh. Yes, come on, girl. Yes! Oh my goodness, we have a winner, folks. We have a winner! She's actually eating a silkworm. Right on. That makes me so happy. I'm glad to see this animal actually take one. So hey, maybe there's a world where we can convince some of the other ones to actually eat them too. But at least we know that there's one girl that likes them, which is pretty cool. I think that's all we're going to do for uh, silkworms at night. Wonderful. Good feedings. All right, where is Mr. Tiki? Hey, there he is. Hey, Tiks. <laughs> what a weirdo. Ay, 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 Tiki. I swear, even the tamest of lizards go through weird little phases. And here we have a few babies with torch, a beautiful torch. Ah, 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 not a chance, you. Get out of here, this is for your mom. Torch, come on. Come on, girly. You can do it. Good girl. Oh, dropped it. Wow, oh, look at her, she's in shed. There you go, torch. Oof. Hang on. As you can see, we got more toki eggs. Woohoo! We're all out of silkworms. So, thus concludes the September silkworm feeding video. Later, Tiki. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching the September silkworm feeding video. 
If you ask me, there were some solid takedowns there, and it's always entertaining to watch the animals eat. One of the most fascinating behaviors you get to see your specialty pets partake in. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more silkworm feeding videos, check out the playlist up above. Don't forget to answer today's question of the day. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all in another video again soon. I gotta go get back to work uh, on that tree monitoring build, so stay tuned for that. Thanks everybody, have an awesome week.